Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And this video is all about bullet molds and the interest in casting bullets is at a up climbing high and for many reasons. But what Stephen Riddick is asking is what are the advantages and disadvantages of the different kinds of bullet molds that are available commonly for new casters or newer casters. And that, of course, is molds from Lyman. Now, Lyman is our oldest bullet mold making company. And then RCBS and Lee. Now, the main differences are that Lyman and RCBS predominantly make their bullet molds out of iron. So here are some examples of their molds. We have here a single cavity Lyman, two two cavity Lymans, a two cavity RCBS, and a four cavity Lyman. Now the big gang molds that you've heard about in the past that cast eight, 10, 12 bullets at a pour are not available at this time. You might be able to find them used from different companies that don't exist anymore. But Lyman doesn't make any more than four cavities. Now, of course, to be fair, there are other companies making bullet molds today, making some very fine bullet molds. Now, we won't mention them, but if you do a search, you'll see some of the other companies. But for our purposes today, Lyman and RCBS and Lee are the ones that most casters are going to start with. And as we go along in our casting careers, we may very well want to try some of the molds from the other mold makers like NOE or Arsenal or Big Lou Bullets, this kind of thing. You can do a search on, on uh, the internet under bullet mold manufacturers and get the lowdown on all the other ones. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about these iron molds. Now, they're also made out of brass. Now, brass and iron are fairly similar in their casting qualities. So let's go over the advantages and disadvantages of iron molds. So number one advantage of the iron molds would be the quality of construction, the feel, the perception, the sound of it, the use of it gives us that quality that we appreciate. So that's number one. They don't feel, they don't sound cheap. Now the second advantage of iron molds is that if you want certain kinds of bullet designs, such as the Keith bullets, or if you want devastator bullets or hollow point mold bullets, this kind of thing, you're going to need to have Lyman or RCBS because those are not available from Lee. Now Lee may have other kinds of designs that the iron molds don't have, but if you want a Keith bullet or a Devastator bullet, you gotta go with Lyman and iron molds or RCBS. Now you know that I like to present information that's either new or a different twist on things. So here's one, and that is the round nose bullet for the 45 ACP, which is a 230 grain round nose bullet. If you want an exact copy of the GI Hardball 230 grain bullet for your 45 auto, you cannot get that from Lee. Now why that is, is I have no idea. They have their 1R and 2R version of the round nose 45, but it's not the GI Hardball. If you want the GI Hardball shape, you got to go with Lyman or RCBS. And that happens to be a very fine bullet, very popular, and one of the reasons why a lot of people use the iron molds. Now the third reason why iron molds are very popular is that the iron molds hold the heat better. Same idea of cast iron, why Dutch ovens are made out of cast iron, this kind of thing, because the iron holds the heat. So does brass. Now aluminum is a different kind of material that actually takes the heat and dis dissipates it. So for instance, if you look at, at electronics, heat sinks are made out of aluminum. 
so the heat comes into the aluminum heat sink and then the heat is released. So the aluminum molds, they might heat faster, but they don't hold the heat as well. And so every time we use an aluminum mold, we're always fighting to keep that heat up. Whereas with our iron molds, they stay hot and cast in the sweet spot easier and better. So we like that with our iron molds. That's an advantage. Now the fourth major advantage of iron molds is their durability. Not only do they not have parts break during the actual use, but these molds are lifetime with any kind of reasonable care. If you ignore them and, and are, neglect them, they're gonna have problems. But if you take care of them, they're lifetime. Give you an idea, this particular mold is the 357 38 Special Keith Bullet. And this mold is over 40 years old and I've cast a lot of bullets with this thing so that if you look at it and inspect it carefully, except for a loose handle here, you could confuse this with a new mold. Now, of course, we've got to talk about disadvantages. Disadvantages is kind of like the yin and the yang and the flip side or the dark side of the force, this kind of thing, disadvantages. We've got to turn Luke to the dark side of the force. Okay, the number one disadvantage of these molds is cost. They're more expensive than aluminum molds. Why? Because it takes more to machine, the material itself, this kind of thing. It's just more expensive. Some of these are, like for instance, this one, as I recall, it's about $150 for the four cavity mold. And if you get a six cavity Lee, you can get three molds for that. And these are proportionately so. So number one, cost. Number two, because they're made out of iron, they can rust. And if you leave them out and allow moisture to get to them, you're gonna get rust, guaranteed, because this, iron is not protected by anything so you do have to take care of them to keep that rusting from happening plus you have to maintain them so the third disadvantage is that you do have to maintain these what that means is after you get through casting with one of these you have to clean it up and then we have to go ahead and coat some preservative light oil on them and then we need to store them in a sealed container with desiccant this kind of thing plus we have to look in on them every couple of months or so because if you start seeing some light rust you gotta do something about it quick and that'll save the problem if you leave rust there you can have a big problem if you never look at it so you've got to maintain these and that means that you have to then when you're ready to use the mold again, you've got to get rid of that oil again. So maintenance is number three. Well, it's not that hard. I've got videos on how to maintain them, so, but that is a disadvantage. Number four disadvantage is weight. No matter you're looking at one cavity, two cavity, or four cavity, these are proportionally more heavy, substantially more so than the aluminum molds. And that causes some strain to the wrist to the fingers, especially with a four cavity. By the time you finish a casting session, you feel like you've worked out at the gym with this. Now the fifth disadvantage of iron molds is that it takes quite a few pours before you start getting good bullets. And there's two reasons for that. One is any preservative oil that you put in the cavities to keep from rusting has to be burned out. You can't quite clean it all, all out because there are little pores in the iron. And so as you cast, the oil comes out of the pores in gas form and ruins the bullet that you're pouring. So until the oil is burned out of there, you're gonna get bad bullets. The second reason is when the mold is cold and iron molds take more pores to heat up, you can't get good bullets. You'll get, you'll get wrinkled bullets. And that'll take time to get the mold hot. So heating the mold up and burning the oil out takes a number of pours. It may take 20 pours 
before you'll start getting good bullets for these. But once you start getting good bullets, you're gonna be making a lot of good bullets for a long time. Now let's talk about aluminum molds. And Lee was the first company that came out with aluminum molds. Kind of revolutionary at the time. But when they first came out with the aluminum molds, they had one cavity molds for $8.98. And here's one of the original one cavity Lee molds. Has the rib and groove type of alignment which they used for many years until fairly recently when they went to the pin and bushing system. But this one belongs in a museum. Casting with this happens to be a 45 caliber 190 grain semi wad cutter. Casting with this is like casting in molasses. So anyway, that's the first advantage of aluminum molds by Lee and that is the cost. And they were so low that you couldn't ignore them. Even today, you can't ignore them because a six cavity Lee mold is like less than $50. You can get these handles for like $11 on sale. So they're cheap enough that you can have one for every mold or you could just get one set and keep interchanging them. And that's okay too. The cost for the whole thing, including these proprietary handles is like $20. And if you're a new caster, a two cavity Lee mold is a good way to start. In fact, it's so inexpensive that anyone can start casting for a Lee two cavity mold. The second big advantage of aluminum molds is they will not rust. And the third advantage is low maintenance. They kind of go together, but they don't rust. So all you gotta do is clean them and then we wipe them off with light oil, but the big advantage of maintenance is you don't have to put any oil in the cavities. So we store them in a, in a airtight container just like our iron molds, but we don't have to really do much about them because they just will not rust being aluminum. And because you don't put any oil into the cavities, starting up the next casting session is a piece of cake. Well, the fourth advantage of aluminum molds is their light weight. And this makes for more comfortable casting and longer casting sessions. These are easy to maneuver, they're just light. Now the fifth advantage of Lee aluminum molds, and this is actually a major advantage, might be higher up in the chain, but six cavity molds. And that allows us to make a lot of bullets in the same amount of time as we would use a two cavity. It actually casts more than three times the speed of of a two cavity mold, whether it's iron mold, is even slower. So these are speed, but quality bullets in shorter amount of time. Now the sixth advantage of Lee aluminum molds is that that's the only place you can get the tumble lube bullet designs that Richard Lee developed to cast bullets closer to the dimension you want so that oftentimes no sizing is needed. But if you do need to size, the system includes the Lee sizing dies and the tumble lube Lee liquid allox, whether you use it straight up or 45, 45, 10. And then if you don't need to size them and there's any irregularities in the reloads, then the Lee factory crimp die will iron out small bulges that allow good functioning so your ammo works great and you didn't have to spend a lot of time making the Now the seventh advantage is that these molds heat up very quickly so that we might get good bullets on the first, second, or third pour. Now there are disadvantages to the Lee aluminum molds. Number one is that certain bullet designs are not available like the Keith bullets. Number two is durability. Certain parts can break like this this handle can break off right here. Number three, the heat control is a little more sensitive. You gotta keep casting. If you put it down and, and leave it for a while, you gotta get it going again. The fourth is that it has a little cheap feel to it. The fifth is that you've gotta lubricate the mold because galling will occur. And the sixth disadvantage is that you can't see the lead as well if you're getting lead smears here as on an iron mold. So anyway, these are some of the disadvantages of Lee molds. So Steve Riddick, all these molds are good and whichever one you wind up with, good casting to you. Bye for now.